Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Forward Saturday. This Saturday, in our search for passionate educators, we reached India to meet Abhijit, creator of project DEFY. He enables undisturbed communities to create education for themselves. These are called self-learning spaces. And what better, they are NOOCs. <laughs> At NOOCs, individuals, children, adults take charge of their own learning. They satisfy their curiosity. They cater to their needs and interests. NOOCs are schools without exams, without a curricular. You just follow your passion. Through Project DeFi, Abhijit has worked with over 17 communities and enabled 7,000 plus individuals to become self-learners. He has set up loops in countries, India, Uganda, Rwanda, and is now looking even in other countries to set up loops. Abhijit is a firm believer that learners must have the decision-making ability. They must be able to decide what they want to learn, how they want to learn, with whom they want to learn, and with their own resources. Welcome to the show, Abhijit. Share your new passion with us. <laughs> thank you so much, Sandeep. And really, thank you for, for inviting me. And uh, congratulations on such a wonderful series of podcasts. I've just started listening to them. And uh, I feel really privileged to be, to be a part of this. Um, yeah, as far as nooks go or, or this passion with um, creating learning in some sort of a different way uh, is concerned, it starts from my own personal experiences with education. Um, it starts with my own uh, dissatisfaction with what I was uh, getting in my school and especially in my university. Um, in a way, I could, the best way I can find a way to describe it is um, when I was in college, I, it almost used to feel like um, they are telling me what I need to do uh, as an outcome of my life, as opposed to what I feel I, I would like to do. Um, so this idea that I must get a job and I must get a car and I must get a house, this is uh, force fed um, and, not, um, and was not something so natural to me. Uh, and it felt like almost every day they are uh, disabling my thinking and, and taking away some of my neurons, maybe. So um, I started um, Defy um, and the concept of nooks after observing this uh, sort of an attitude from mainstream education um, across people from the youngest of ages to the oldest in some way dictating to them how their life should be and disabling them again and again, um, making them dependent on um, you know, industries or the systems as opposed to um, empowering them to think for themselves and um, question things around them. So the NOOC um, concept is really a simple one. I wouldn't call it the perfect educational model but certainly it's an attempt, an experiment to see, okay, what if schools could be uh, something that completely does not look like a school or feel like a school or has the format of a school? What if you took out the teachers, you took out the idea of students, you took out uh, tables, benches, and uh, books and exams and started from scratch again, what would that feel like? So that's what, <laughs> that's what we are doing now. Um, trying to trying to experiment with this idea and enabling people to think for themselves as to what education should mean to them. Please stay with us. We will be back after a quick commercial break. It's been wonderful working with Learning Forward. More so because I've had the golden opportunity of being the founder as well as the sponsor and the first chairperson of Learning Forward India. It was indeed an honor and privilege to stitch together the affiliate and bring in hundreds of people from all over the country as our members. In three years we've come a long way. We have worked with a few dozen schools. What's most beautiful about Learning Forward is they are committed to raising the bar for the teaching and learning profession. And we as an affiliate strongly support that. And Learning Forward is but 
a natural step for everyone in life. Affiliate has to live by the spirit of learning forward. John, not just be in design and policy, but in terms of purely connecting with the educators and helping them appreciate what they are doing. Affiliation is more about appreciating the spirit of learning. To understand the global implication of education, you must become an affiliate. It is so interesting to share your philosophy of Luke's and where you say it is like a personal reflection. It is a dissatisfaction with the current system, the processes. And above all, you said it's something to do with material life. Correct. You have to share with us where you feel that how you were able to handle your personal experience, dissatisfaction and going away from a material life to help people and maybe share a success story with us where you have actually been able to achieve what you set out to in one small way. Yes. Um, so the idea of creating the nook was uh, so personal to me that even the first nook that I created was not for anybody else, it was really just for me and probably these bunch of kids who um, were around me in, in this village uh, outside of Bangalore where I was staying. And that's where it started, just a, uh, th- this way to relieve some of this frustration of being in an educational cage all my life and be able to again redefine, okay, how I want to learn, what I want to do, um, how I want to learn, what I want to do, what do I want to create. Um, and that's where uh, I think the, the, the first nook started. And when you start thinking about what is it that really makes you happy and really um, satisfies you, uh, I, I have this uh, wonderful example from my, uh, from my very early days after finishing college. So I finished college and I came here to Bangalore and I started um, working at this um, software company. And they were young, you know, guys uh, who were maybe a year or two older than me, and they had been working there for for about two years. And um, every morning they would come and say that, uh, uh, oh, this job is so boring. I, I really feel I'm not following my passion. No problem. You know, tomorrow I'm going to quit or next month I'm going to quit and I'll follow my my passion and I'll follow what I want to do. And, you know, I stayed there for a year and nobody ever quit. They, every day they would just come and complain and never quit. And that image of me doing something like that a couple of years now, just complaining and telling that um, and saying that one day I will follow my passion and one day I'll do what I like. Today I'll, I'm just working because I'm supposed to work. Uh, that scared the hell out of me and I had to I had to get out of that and I had to um, uh, start looking for what do I want and this is not just a, a symptom that is that I noticed in myself it, it is all around everywhere where from especially in India you see children from the time they are born they are told what they are supposed to be doing for the rest of their life and uh, there is no place, no space, no people, no support that helps them to uh, to s- just slow down a bit and think, all right, forget about the future. What am I doing today? How can I be a complete human and, and, uh, and, and practice a good life at this point of time and uh, break this fallacy of uh, educating yourself for some sort of a future um, uh, planet and a future um, uh, human life, whereas your present life completely is um, uh, is horrible, and all you are doing is uh, following this system blindly. So um, there are several examples of, uh, I mean, people uh, coming to nooks and discovering this again and again. Um, I had uh, well uh, an interesting uh, story again was from the first village in Banjarapalya where these uh, kids used to come almost on a daily basis and they would spend like five, six hours at the at the nook. Um, and of course, they had to go to school also because, well, that's just how things are. And um, very quickly, they started feeling that, you know, they're not getting much out of the school. Anyway, they would still go to school, but uh, doing homework and, and things like that sort of became meaningless to them. And they, when they would go and ask questions to their teachers, or their headmaster, in turn, they would get beaten. And um, this questioning itself uh, was a great reflection of what the nook is doing 
uh, to them or or um, helping them achieve uh, this idea that yeah i don't have to just do something because people are asking me to um, i can actually ask my own questions and see if this is the right thing for me or not they got into a lot of trouble because of that but ultimately uh, it really impacted the way they think in among elder people if, i mean we we work with all sorts of ages from 10 to 50 60 and we've seen several people drop what they have been doing or or drop their you know the, the state of mind that they came in with and completely start fresh trying to uh, pick up this thing or this profession or this um, uh, life that they now want to create and they start feeling that yes they can create a life uh, of their own choosing no matter what background they come from and no matter what education they have had so far so uh, i mean it would take me hours to go into more and more examples <laughs> yeah thank you abhishek for sharing with us that nooks actually help people do projects with nothing when i say nothing they do with what is available and make the most of the present moment which i thought was a very interesting take away from your model where you said you slow down you think and then try and be a complete human being let's not think of educating for the future let's think of making the most of learning today which i think is a very positive sign of what you're doing we'd like to wish you best and happy learning Thank all you your so life much. it's a pleasure <laughs>